In season two, Christ is seen multiple times rehearsing the Sermon on the Mount and changing his mind about what he will say and how he will say it. He also takes Matthew's advice about certain details of the sermon. Now, for sure, God's incarnation is a mystery. And yes, he was fully God and fully human, but not in this way. I love The Chosen. I think the show is truly brilliant, particularly Jonathan Romy. I believe he does a wonderful job in playing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he's especially gifted in portraying Christ's human side, which resonates with so many of us because it is a reminder that Christ understands us and accepts us with all our weaknesses and shortcomings. Also, I'm not particularly bothered by the fact that some scenes are not biblically accurate. I believe that we need to appreciate that this is a show. It is art centered around the person of Christ. And the objective is to deliver the Christian message in a creative way, which the show is brilliantly accomplishing. Having said this, however, as we know, perfection is only found in the person of Christ. So there are some flaws here and there, and that's okay. But ironically, the same quality that makes this show resonate so well with us, which is the human side of Christ, was taken a bit too far in certain episodes. And I believe it was emphasized so much that it could lead some to a flawed understanding of the person of Christ. In season two, Christ is seen multiple times rehearsing the Sermon on the Mount and changing his mind about what he will say and how he will say it. He also takes Matthew's advice about certain details of the sermon. Now, for sure, God's incarnation is a mystery. And yes, he was fully God and fully human, but not in this way. Christ was God in the flesh, meaning the mystery of the union between the divinity and humanity is not random or passive. The unity between the two natures was active. There was communication between the two in the person of Christ. If ever something was veiled within the person of Christ because of his humanity, only his willingness to know it would give him instant access to the information, since he is divine and therefore all-knowing. This is how Christ would know what was in the hearts of people while he was on earth. It is difficult to imagine Christ knowing what is within the hearts of others, yet he had to practice what he was going to say on the Sermon of the Mount. I believe in this case, Christ's human side was pushed a bit too far. Nevertheless, The Chosen remains a fantastic show to watch and a great ministry that is preaching Christianity in a very innovative way. Thank you to all who are contributing to this wonderful show.